We're told a quadratic function f has a vertex at negative 4 comma 7 and passes through the point negative 2 comma negative 5. Write an equation for f in vertex form. So pause this video and try to work that out before we do that together. All right, so first let's think about the general form of vertex form. So if you have a quadratic function f, it's a function of x, so first you're going to have some number times x minus h squared plus k. And we'll talk in a little second what a, h, and k are. But just to remind you why this right over here is actually a quadratic or a parabola as you might recognize, you might say, okay, if I had something like this, f of x is equal to x squared, that makes sense that that's going to have a shape something like that. Now, you could also multiply that times a constant. So you could also imagine something like f of x is equal to a x squared. If a is positive, you're still going to be upward opening. If a is negative, you would be downward opening like that. If a is greater than one, it would accelerate how fast as you go further and further from zero, how much that function increases if it's between zero and one it would kind of spread it out a little bit. And then the rest of it is, well, imagine if you wanted to shift it to the right by h units. Well, then you would see something like this. You would, if you wanted to shift it to the right by h units, you would have f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared. That's just shifting a function. And then if you wanted to shift it up by k units, you would do a plus k. And that's exactly what we have right over here in this general form of a quadratic or a quadratic in vertex form, I should actually say. So the vertex is actually h and k specify the vertex. This right over here, negative four is h and seven is k. It's really telling you if you didn't have, if h and k were zero, your vertex would be at zero. You would have just a traditional parabola right with the vertex at zero, but we're shifting it in this form so that our vertex is at x equals negative four and y is equal to seven. So we can just substitute those in for h and k to start building out our the equation for f. So f of x is going to be equal to a times x minus h is negative four. We have to be very careful when we're subtracting negatives. So it's negative four there squared plus k k is seven. Now the next thing we can do, and why don't we just, well, the next thing we can do is simplify this a little bit. I, that uncertainty you heard in my voice was, well, do I simplify this subtracting a negative and just making it adding four? I'll do that in the next step. So the next thing I wanna do is say, well, what is f of negative two? Well, we know that f of negative two is negative five, and we can use that to solve for a. So let me write this here. So we could say f, of, I'll do that same color, f of negative two, which we know is equal to negative five, is equal to negative five, but it's also going to be equal to all of this where I replace x with a negative two. So it's going to be equal to a times, so if I replace x with a negative two, it is, actually let me do it with, let me use that same color, negative two right over there. And then we have this subtracting a negative four, so that's just adding a four, squared, and then we have plus seven. And so now we just have to solve this part here. So we get negative five is equal to, what is negative two plus four? Well, that's just going to be two. Two squared is four, so this is all simplifies, let me make it clear, This all this part right over here simplifies to four a is equal to 4a plus seven, plus seven. We can just subtract seven from both sides and we get negative 12 is equal to 4a. Divide both sides by four, whoops. Divide both sides by four to solve for a and we get a is equal to negative 12 divided by four which is equal to negative three. Negative three is equal to a. And we're actually done, but we wanna write the whole equation out. We know what a is and we know what h and k are, so let's just write it out. The equation is f of x is equal to a, 
which we now know is negative 3, times x minus negative 4, which we could just write that as x plus 4. Make that x a little bit cleaner. x plus 4 squared plus 7. Plus 7. And we are done.